Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn about how to get the data from Azure Analysis Services in Power BI Desktop. Okay, so Azure Analysis Service is a cloud-based platform and which stores the uh, data models and we can get the data from analysis service in Power BI Desktop to create our reports, okay? It also called PAAS, uh, which is Platform as a Service. Um, and uh, you can also get the data from other sources along with the uh, analysis service data to create your report, okay? Um, so let's get started. I am here in Power BI Desktop home screen and from the home uh, tab ribbon from the data section I'm going to get uh, the data by clicking the get data button and I'm going to click on more. And on Get Data window, I'm going to click on Azure. And from the right pane, I'm going to select Azure Analysis Service Database. Okay. And connect. I need to give my server name. So it's here. Then the database. It's optional though, so if you have, a, if you know the database name, then you can give it, otherwise leave it blank. And then we have two uh, connectivity mode here, so you can use a import or you can use a connect live as well. The, uh, by default, it gives connect live and you can choose the import. The difference between two is import is going to import the data in Power BI Desktop. And so you can view that data. On the connect live, it is going to only uh, create a connection to the tables and you cannot see the data in Power BI because it doesn't print the data in Power BI. Okay, so first I'm going to select import. Then we have an option to give a MDX or DEX query if you have any extra calculation uh, to create the column. I'm going to leave it blank though here. It's optional again. So I'm not going to give anything and click OK. Okay. So it's asking me my credential and mine is set up on the window so I can connect it. Okay. So here I have a three tabular model. Uh, I'm going to choose this my tabular model and I'm going to click on that. And then I have a model. And in model I have uh, eight tables. Okay. Uh, each table also has an arrow beside it. So if I click on that, you can see that um, I can also choose each column if I do not want all columns from the table. Okay. Uh, for this video though, I'm going to uh, choose this whole table. So I'm going to click on the, I clicked on this factory seller sales and I can preview my data here. I already know the data. So uh, I can either load transform to get data in Power Query to transform the data or I can cancel. Uh, in this case, I'm going to load it straight away in Power BI Desktop. Okay. Okay, so our data model is loaded. And we can see that in our data pane on right hand side. Let me expand this because of the model. It uses the table name first and then column name. So it got wider. 
so this is our our all data guys and it here on left hand side then we have all three tabs report view we have table view as well and we have model view let's see on the table view so we can see all the data here from uh, that table which is pretty huge table like 60,000 plus rows and uh, I can click on the model as well so we have only one table okay so I am going to delete this model now then this is the way that you can get the data via import mode um, and I'm going to show you how to get uh, data with the uh, connect live mode okay so I'm going to delete this right click and delete table and yes okay so now we have again a blank copy in Power BI desktop I'm going to go back again to the data section and get data button and I'm going to click on more okay so in this get data window select Azure and then the third option Azure Analysis Services Database okay and console. Here is my server name. I'm going to leave database um, blank. I don't want to give any database name. Then connect live selected and in this query section um, we cannot give anything it's anyway optional. Uh, I am, but because with the connect live, uh, we already, uh, whatever the calculation needed, that is already done uh, on uh, analysis service side. So we do not need to do anything extra here in Power BI. Uh, however, if we wanted to do, we can do it in Power BI desktop as well. Okay. So I'm going to click OK. Again, I have uh, all three tabular model I'm going to use this my tabular model I'm going to click on this arrow and then I have a model however this time you can see that I cannot expand this oh. and on the right hand side I have a message here that this model contains the following dimensions and measures and we have all our eight tables um, listed here okay um, on the bottom right then uh, we have uh, options to click ok or cancel so there is no option to load because it's not getting any data on uh, connect live mode and so there is no transformation as well okay so click ok In a, within a second, um, our eight table connection is loaded here and uh, on right hand side I can see that our all tables with their column names are there. On left hand side um, I can see that report view is here. Uh, there is no table view and there is a model view. Uh, the table view because we, it doesn't have a data in Power BI desktop. Okay, I'm going to click on this model view just to view it. Uh, so let me put it on free to page. So you can see here that we have all eight tables here and their relations with each other as well. So because this is a model, so already. Um, uh, it, it is with the connection or the relations with other table okay now go back on the report view then and I can see this um, text here and that live connection and connected okay so um, let me visualize something so I'm going to um, get this clustered column chart and let's 
get something. So fact table, I'm going to get a sales data then. Sales amount on y-axis. And I'm going to get something from product table. And let me get this product line. Okay. So here is our visual. Let me, if you click on this, uh, the, so visual is selected right now. And if you click on this format with your visual uh, button, then it will allow to change the fonts and any other formatting. Okay, so I'm going to change the fonts on x-axis and on y-axis. Value and font size and we will learn on the all this um, when we will create our first report in this series um, I'm going to oh, sorry yeah, I'm going to so it's enable data so I think data label fonts maybe okay. yes so that is also 15 so we can do it okay so our one visual is ready uh, I'm just keep going to quickly show you that how to get rid of this blank value from I'm sorry x-axis there is a product line so product line on the filter and then I'm going to expand it and here is a blank and that's why it's showing up there so I'm going to select all. I'm going to click on select all and then deselect the blank one so it removed. And so uh, this is all about how to get the data from Azure um, Analysis Services in Power BI Desktop. Uh, thanks for watching guys and if you like video uh, then uh, please uh, comment, share, like and subscribe my channel and talk to you in the next video. Thank you.